We recently aired a Your Stories report about bike thieves hitting San Diego hard. We show you chop chops set up in parks and alleys, but we're about to show you now tops that. Tonight, we take you to a church in El Cajon, shocked to discover that their house of worship was turned into a stolen bike chop shop during the pandemic, and they left the place a wreck. With tonight's Your Stories follow-up, here's our Brian White. Yeah, this building, which is home to the First Baptist Church of El Cajon, was built in 1931. So when people broke in and turned it into a bike chop shop, they disrespected the special nature of this place. To see it treated so just with complete disregard. That was uh, a, a little frustrating. Senior pastor Kevin Rogers is disheartened by the lasting damage done to this building. He describes how it all started. They had forced their way in and then had ripped this door off its hinges. This was all done by two people, a man and a woman, who squatted here for several months during last year's COVID shutdown. There were obvious signs that these two were using this room as a chop shop for stolen bikes. Dismantling them, repainting them. You can see on the floor the spray paint stains where they would put the bike frame down. During last year's COVID shutdown, church services were not being held, so there was rarely anyone in the building. In the windows, they had put uh, construction styrofoam to block them out so you couldn't see light in here at night. And you'd see they wrote something on the wall here. A foosball and ping pong table were both destroyed, but that was only a small part of the total damage. They smashed that door, broke it in half, and then this was unfortunately like a bathroom for them. And so there were several five-gallon buckets filled with urine and feces. The squatters managed to go undetected for several months until one day when Kevin heard them. I was looking for a piece of equipment one day, and that's when I heard voices upstairs and went and called the police. When police responded, the man and woman were put into cuffs and questioned, but then were released. It's very frustrating. He broke in that night, ripped the door off again. And just when Kevin thought they had secured the building. Then we found that he was living in another part of the building. And so once we kind of hauled all that stuff out, then he stopped. Being a small congregation, Pastor Rogers says there is not a lot of money to cover the $10,000 worth of damage and repair work that is still needed. The biggest issue is, is just the complete disregard and then the fact there's no like repercussions whatsoever. In El Cajon, Brian White for News 8.